behind me is a truly exceptional tapestry dating approximately 1510. So the fact that it survived in this condition and that we have it at Bonhams today, it's pretty exciting. At this point, the story of Troy would be such a hot topic. We know that previously, right at the end of the 15th century, that kings like Henry VII commissioned Trojan tapestries just because they wanted to have that inherited history and have that connection to Aeneas. Some kings even claimed Aeneas as their direct ancestor. Going in a sort of anti-clockwise direction is talking about Aeneas's story in the present, in real time, if you like. So we're going on his journey on Cumae, looking at the Temple of Apollo, and then having this vision into the future with Diophobi. And it's a very moving episode in the story of Rome, where Augustus is mourning the death of his would-be successor, Marcellus. And then on the doors, we have a reference back to the past, the story of Cumae, the story of the temple as well, when Daedalus landed at Cumae, dedicated his wings to Apollo. You could say that in this one scene, in this one field, we have past, present, future all interweaving together to make up one fabulous scene. Another really striking quality of this is, of course, the colours and how brilliant they are, how beautifully they survived over time. The blues, the reds and the gold in the centre, they really make the whole thing come alive. For the present vendor, it was in the collection of the Rothschilds. Before that, very little is known about where it was, but I think it's safe to assume that at some point it did go back to a noble family or a castle or a palace. We're really excited to be presenting this as part of the wonderful Lady Hamlin collection, which has all sorts of early vernacular furniture, textiles, and this tapestry coming up at Bonham's New Bond Street on September 21st.